Hey guys, welcome to Zola Blocks. In this block tutorial, let's explore the image compare block to create beautiful image comparison slides in Gutenberg. Let's go. Like always, you can start by adding a container block, selecting a single column layout, and customizing the padding of the container. Now clicking inside the blank container, go ahead and select the image container block from the floating block menu. The default appearance is a two image block side by side. One says before image and the other one is after image. Now let's select images for both image fields. Right, that instant, the block feature is complete and you will see the comparison controller there. From the options, you can turn on the Labels button to show labels for the before-after images. There are other options here. You can disable the slide controller and fix it at a certain value. Or turn on the next switcher to allow only the controller handle to be draggable. Or make the controller slide on hover. Suit yourself. You can also adjust the initial position of the controller from the option here and you can flip the direction of the slide controller between horizontal and vertical. Choose the one that suits your landing page. As for the labels, the next section lets you change the label text and position of the labels on the block. Now basic layout customizations are over. Styles come next. So, go inside the Style tab and click open the first section named Item. Here, you can adjust the total height of the image compare block. Next is the label section. Here, you can change the label text color and background color simultaneously. You can also add custom borders to the labels as well. And with the border radius option, you can curve the edges of the background anytime. Then there are margin and padding options below. And after that comes the control section. Here, you can adjust the thickness of the controller bar for the image compare block. Either make them thicker or thinner, or just remove the bar completely and just keep the controller handle visible, your choice. Also, you can change the background color of the line as well as add a shadow to it. Not to forget, you can also customize the controller handle or button here. The options start from the adjustable arrow size. Then you can customize the arrow color, followed by the width of the circle border around the arrows. There's also a height option for that. Yes, this was a border, and you can customize it further. Then you can also set a background color for the arrows. There you go, your image compare block is ready to show off. You can go ahead and update the changes and present it to your audience. But before we go, there are some ready patterns for you to show you what else you can do with this block feature. That's all for this video. Thanks for staying with Zola Blocks. Please like and subscribe to this video and stay updated for more block tutorials. See you soon.